Good morning. Thank Thanks. you for this opportunity. Thanks for coming on the air with me. For those who may not know, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Eric Onisco. I've uh, been in Shelton Mason County for 40 years. Uh, I believe you heard this before. I fought, we followed Grandma here. She had a cabin in Timber Lakes and uh, decided to retire here. And Mom couldn't be too far away from her, so we followed in. And that's where we've been. Talk to me a little bit about your interest in running for the city council. Were you in favor of the expansion? And uh, what got you then involved to try to get into the new uh, additional seats? Well, I, I was in favor of the expansion. I just wish it would have happened at another time. I just thought it was a little unfair to candidates that it happened during an election. But uh, it's here, and um, I think it's going to be great. And the reason I'm running, I think I'm a common sense person. You know, and I can let the people's vote count. I have um, been sitting at those meetings for several years, and I've seen some things that I don't agree with, and I've seen some things I do agree with. And I just want to ask the tough questions. You know, some of the questions I probably would have asked during the budget is uh, why our administration budget has doubled since 2016, you know, and our police budget's only gone up, you know, $88,000. That's barely an officer. So I want to ask those tough questions before I vote yes or no. What would you consider, uh, if you have one, your platform to be? And if you got a seat at the table there, what would you hope to accomplish? Well, my platform hasn't changed since 2015. I'm into getting those sewer and water rates lower. I mean, there's no reason looking at these budgets that we couldn't possibly do that. You know, if we wouldn't waste our money by running sewer up Lake Boulevard with no hookups, water tanks with, with no hookups, uh, and our famous six million dollar Angleside booster station that doesn't work will never work you know somebody should ask those tough questions what do you think some of the biggest problems that will be facing the city of Shelton in the next year are I believe infrastructure I believe we need to fund more police I believe that uh, we should do something with the homeless we should maybe help support the nonprofits that are feeding our homeless housing our homeless um, I don't think there's any reason why we couldn't. He's running for the Shelton City Commission in the fourth position. You'll see his name on the ballot. It's Eric Anisco. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Jeff. Are you fed up with slow internet speeds? Give iFiber Communications a call. We know how important it is to have a secure, reliable connection. Give us a call at 360-427-4000 or visit iFiber.tv.